all right, I'm going to prove to you that Jesse Morrell has a spirit of an antichrist, according to scripture. And it's funny, in this, in this Instagram post, I'll show you, in this Instagram post, he actually condemns himself. And he proves that he has a spirit of an antichrist. And not, not just according to the Instagram post, but also uh, with this video I'm going to show you too. That was brought out in, in Brian's video, Exposing Morrell. But he says here, uh, saying he says in his Instagram post, he, he teaches sinless perfection, by the way, and he's a total work salvationist. He believes you have to live in a whole, you have to continually live holy to get into get into heaven. I mean, it's it's, it's exactly what the Catholics believe. I mean, he's he's basically a Roman Catholic, um, while claiming not to be a Catholic. But but in terms of doctrine wise, he's a Roman Catholic. Like, again, I've, I've got there's other videos going through that. But he says, saying that your body is sinful and that you can't be free from sin until you die and get a new body is Gnostic heresy. This, it's the spirit of Antichrist, First John spoke of. And look what he says here. Jesus came in the flesh and it set an example for us to follow. Hmm. Um, Jesus came in the flesh. Uh, the Bible says, is come. Um, here's a video I was going to show you. Just in case, oh, that was just one, that was just one slip up, one slip up. Uh, no, he says it in this video too. So it wasn't just one slip up. Um, he says, he's, again, again, rebuking this quote-unquote heresy of a sinful body because, you know, he's, he's self-righteous. He believes in sinless perfection. But check this out. Oh, you're going to sin un until you die. Death becomes your savior. You know what that is? I'll tell you what it is. It's called a Gnostic heresy. Gnostic said, this flesh, this body is sinful. So they denied that Jesus came in the flesh. First, jo uh, Jesus came in the flesh. Um, that's not what the Bible says. He proves he has, has the spirit of an antichrist. Let's continue. John called them antichrist. The spirit of antichrist, First John said, is in the world, who deny that Jesus came in the flesh. See, again, Jesus came in the flesh. Um, the Bible says, is come. Let me show you that from the, from the Bible. Uh, First John chapter 4, verse 1 to 3. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spir spirits whether they are of God. So yes, you can judge. You're supposed to try the spirits. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Like Jesse Morrell. Uh, uh, Hereby know you the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. See, is come, present tense, is of God. Uh, verse 3. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, wherever you have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. See, present tense, is come. The thing that makes Jesus separate from Mohammed or Buddha or, or Confucius or all these other religious leaders is that Jesus Christ is come, present tense, which is Mohammed is dead, Buddha is dead, all this other stuff. But there's another verse, uh, 2 John chapter 1, verse 7, which also proves that Morel has an Antichrist spirit. 2 John 1 7, for many deceivers are entered into the world, like Morel, he's definitely a deceiver, who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, this is a deceiver and an antichrist. Perfect description of Jesse Morel. He's a deceiver and he's not confessing that Jesus is come in the flesh. He is a deceiver and an antichrist, according to that verse. So, don't be deceived by this uh, Jesse Morel. He's a, he's a, like I said before, he's a work salvationist. Total, like he believes in a total workspace salvation while claiming he doesn't. I mean, he says you have to be sinless. Yeah, I mean, basically he denies that Jesus paid for all your sins. He, he's a, he's an open theist. He's moral government theology. He's conditional security. I mean, so many errors with this guy. Um, he believes that repentance is you have to actually turn for, you have to actually stop sinning. It's not just simply coming to God in a, in a, um, I'm blanking out. What's the word? Coming to God in a repentant state, meaning like in a sorrowful state, that you're sorry for your sins. No, you have to actually be sinless, and then you repent, and then you get saved. You know, he's a work salvationist. So don't be deceived by this whole street preaching movement and Jesse Morrell and all these other heretics out there. They're Roman Catholics. They're just teaching Catholic doctrine. And I can show you from the Catechism and the Catholic Council of Trent where they deny conditional security. They teach that salvation is a continual process of holiness and everything like that. You know, you have to die in a state of holiness, die in a state of grace, all this other stuff. Exactly what the street preachers believe. Uh, they're Roman Catholics. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.